my version of the CFT worm bin, continuous flow through worm bin, I used one by one inch square steel that I pulled off of a barn that I've been disassembling. Um, all, most of the designs I've seen have called for wood, which I would have used, but we had this steel and I recently got a welder. So I figured I'd try my hand um, using this free material. Right here, I got my frame started the it's uh, eight feet wide four feet tall so the three uh, four foot sections are in the uh, Z position going up and down and that two foot section coming off at a right angle is one of the crossbars that will connect the two four by eight um, frame sections which will be easier to see in a different visual but Right here, I'm just making sure everything is square before I weld, do a little bit of tack welding, and uh, you can tell I'm an amateur at about everything I do. But perhaps this video can give you a starting point to make improvements on, on your version. Here, I am just attaching another 4x8 frame, the other side of it, to the four crossbars that I have already welded to the first frame. Checking right angles, making sure everything's square. Probably could be more square, but I am a fire ready aim type of guy, so this is actually already a lot more than I would usually do. Guess and check. It's a pretty good tool. Here's the complete frame on its side. Now it's been flipped over. I've attached a scrap piece of angle iron I had to the side using clamps. Cut out gaps where the one by one inch steel can um, fit in between to have the uh, vertical side of the angle iron flush along the side. This angle iron will be used to hold the conduit, which will be the bottom grating of the worm bin. Use two eight foot pieces of angle iron on either side and then I put a two foot section on um, the wide side where those gaps are currently. Actually it was my dad who did the welding for this part, um, it's hidden right here. A note on the measurement for the width of this worm bin. I did it a little bit larger than two feet. I wish I would have done it closer to two feet because thinking about how you cut the conduit later on, it comes in 10 foot sections as you see here. So since I was a little bit wider than two feet, my sections were then longer than two feet so I had scrap metal I could only get four pieces of cross conduit instead of the five you should get out of a ten foot piece of conduit we use three and a quarter inch um, but yeah half inch would have worked this is just what we had on hand here is it laid out on the steel frame it is currently loose um, just wanted to make sure I had enough pieces um, so the next step would be to just get out the measuring tape mark out uh, from some plans I saw and then just eyeballing it it said um, about the two inches between center to center from each piece of conduit we'll see if I would wish that I had it tighter spacing if I have trouble with the um, verm castings falling out of the bottom. I don't think I should if it has the right moisture level. Um, to get through the angle iron I had to drill pilot holes otherwise I was snapping the heads off of the self-tapping screws that I was using to attach the conduit. Another way to put the conduit, secure the conduit into this might be to just get a piece of wood to rest on top of the angle iron and drill 
um, the right diameter holes to match your conduit, whether it's half inch or, th or a three quarter inch conduit. This was probably the most time intensive single step, um, just because it was tedious measuring and uh, drilling each hole and then having quite a few self tapping screws break uh, in the process. For the lid, I took a uh, same one by one inch scrap metal, made it two feet by eight feet just to fit on top, added some hinges using self tapping screws, and I have the three two foot crossbars. What I still need to do is figure out how to uh, attach a way to hold it open and not bend too far back and also to not slam on my head as I'm looking in the worm bin. Currently I'm just using a piece of conduit to hold open the door. I got some other scrap metal from the barn I'm taking apart. It's, this is some of the siding. I'm just cutting it to the height. This is going to be going acting as the walls on the outside of the upper half of the worm bin frame. Attaching it using self-tapping screws. Again, you may want to pay attention to your measurements, plan ahead, unlike what I did, and uh, it'll make adding the siding easiest if the length and the width of your worm box is set to fit what your siding is. Since I did not pay attention to that, I just had to force some of the corners. Um, it still worked out, but it was a little more difficult than it needed to be. After attaching the siding and roof, I added some foam insulation board inside the frame to help mitigate for the fluctuating temperatures to keep the worms in the best environment possible. Here's the finished product with siding and roof. I will have future videos on how I get this started with worms and how I do the harvesting. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.